In this video, we're going to use the sandbox tools to make land terrain. This is the sandbox toolbar. Access it by clicking on View, Toolbars, Sandbox. I drew these contour lines with the freehand tool, but you could import contour lines from another file, such as an AutoCAD drawing. Select click on From Contours, and you get a land mass. It doesn't have any volume, so we'll need an extension to fix that. But first, I like to explode the group that's made when you use that tool, and make another group because this just seems to work better when you use the Enneroth extension. This terrain volume extension is found in the SketchUp extension warehouse. With the landmass highlighted, just click on it, and there you go. You've got some volume. I'm going to delete this now and show you another way to make a patch of land. And that's with the From Scratch tool. You can see I've got a two foot grid spacing there, but I can type any spacing I want. And it shows up here. So there's a grid. And if I double click, I open its editing box and now I can use the Smooth tool on it. I've got a radius of 10 feet, but again, I can type any radius that I want. And then I just click on the grid and drag it up or down. I can adjust the radius larger so that I can edit several of these together. Once again, I'm going to explode it and then make a new group and then apply the terrain volume extension and I can push-pull this to any thickness I want. I can also right-click and choose Soften Smooth Edges, and that smooths everything out, and I can even adjust it with this slider. So here's a little structure I'd like to put on here, and the way I'll do that is to move it over and above and then I'll choose this tool stamp so it's going to stamp the bottom of this structure onto here and it's going to give me a little pad to put it on whose height I can adjust. There. Now how about a road that leads to this little structure? Well, what I'm going to do, first I'm going to group that, what I'm going to do now is draw a rectangle and place it above. Looks like I my house there. Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to copy this with the move and control button.
because I want this on the plane. And now I'm going to draw a road leading to it. And I'll get rid of what I don't need. Select this. And then with the drape tool, click on the group below. And how about that? I've got a road leading up to the house. And there you have it.